What is up everybody? My name is Zach and welcome back to Case Digital. In this video, we're going to be talking about installing Python on your computer to help you on your journey to learning the Python programming language. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go open up your browser. I'm just going to go down here, click Google Chrome and open that up. And then when that opens up, we're just going to want to type in Python download. This is, the, this is how I get there. From this, you should see a link from python.org. Now that's the link that I like to use and that's the one that comes from the official Python, um, that holds the official binaries for Python. And so from that, there's the python.org, click download Python, we'll click that link. And then from this, you should see a web page that looks similar to this. Um, we're gonna click this download Python 3.9 and this is the link, um, this will actually download the package for you. Um, if you're watching this at a later time, this could say um, 3.91, this could say 4.0, this could say 5.0, but essentially we're just going to click this button. Also, I want to point out how right here, this shows um, the operating system that I'm using. This web page is detected that I'm using the Mac operating system. If you're using Windows, um, it could show Windows here. If you're using something else, it could show that as well. So click the download Python 3.9 or whatever the version it says for you. Now I'm just going to open up the package here, and when this pops up, it's just going to start the installation process. So we're going to go through this installation process, um, go through the README, license, continue. You're going to have to click um, Agree to the license to use it, and just click Agree, tell it where you want it to go, and through the hard drive, and then just click Install. Now this, uh, well for Mac, you're going to have to type your password to get it in, um, but this may take like a minute or two. Um, so we'll just wait until it gets back up, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. So it's still about finished with the installation, but this window just popped up showing where it installed. It installed into our applications folder for Python 3.9, and then in about a second or two, you should see um, you should see the, a chime if you're on a Mac. And it's telling you that it's complete. Oh, there it is. So it says installation was completed successfully. So you can just go ahead and close um, and you move that package installer to the trash. And so there's two ways that I like to see that Python is actually working. So the first way is using idle. So idle is a, pa is a program that comes with Python, um, basically for simple like scripting stuff. And then the second way is through the terminal. So I'll first show you Python. So in the Python 3.9 folder that got installed as it popped up and shows you here. There's this idle tool So you can click that you may have to give permissions um, For it to, a to access I didn't and From here you can just start using Python. So let's just do addition. So 5 plus 5 10 uh, We can do print text can do print Hello YouTube and you can see it says hello YouTube. So basically we can see that the shell, the idle tool, the shell script is working. It says it's from Python 3.9. Now I can go to terminal. So you can go up into your finder tool or um, you can just click terminal, click that. And then you can do hit type the command Python. And when you do that, you should see it basically goes into now you're using the same idle shell script inside your actual terminal. Um, and you can do the same things here. So 5 plus 5 should be 10 like it is. And then you can print. You can do hello YouTube. And it should print out hello YouTube. So there you go. We've just got Python installed. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.